Here we are once again looking at the critters. Clay is exhausted. Been a long day. Been a long day. It was raining earlier. So it's supposed to be nice and sunny all weekend. Oh, is it? I thought it was supposed to rain tomorrow. That's what they said, but the, I looked at the phone before I came home and it said sunny for tomorrow. Which is fine with me. I can get some things done. Well, I'm for that too. Are they thinking we're going to give them something to eat right now? These chickens? Not that they don't have tons of food in there already. No, yeah, they got food. I can go get them some corn if you want to watch them scratch around. But... Here they come out. We kind of feel after a while. I know you're tired. Oh. Well, we got to tell you a funny story about my pants. When I went away the other day, went away the other day, and Clay looks over at me, and he's like, Ruthie. <laughs> I had a big old hole in my pants, and I didn't even know what. It was funny, huh? I'm like, oh, darn. I wanted to tell you about it, but that woman was standing there, and I didn't want to embarrass you in front of her. So I ended up coming home and uh, throwing that in the fabric bin, but needless to say, I had holy pants. So what do you think? You think your father should get, get you guys some uh, corn? So I don't know if anything like that has ever happened to anybody, but... Oh yeah. It was like a little tear in the, on the side of my pocket, and I guess it must have really tore down. I didn't even know it was noticeable. But anyway. Yeah, I'll get them a little corn. They can scratch around. Looks like the black on his, where his comb froze is starting to turn red again. Uh -huh. So I guess my question is, has that, has that ever happened to any of you? <laughs> Have any of you gone out in public and realized that the seat of your pants was ripped out? <laughs> and you had to run home quick, because luckily for me, I had a small uh, sweat jacket on. So I wrapped it around my waist and went home. I was only a few miles from home, so it wasn't like the end of the world. Our preacher one time preached the whole sermon with a zipper down, and then he goes to somebody when he noticed that he goes to one of the guys. I think it was, he said to my dad, he said, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you guys let me preach the whole sermon? He said it right from the pulpit. It was real cute. Oh, here they come. Have something then. Come and get your candy corn. Yay! Oh, no. Beavis wanted Look, some. And there's Storm trying to get corn. <laughs> you don't need corn. Oh. Who's fighting? The boy. hands. You guys behave. All four of them are trying to fight. Well, they fight, fight over females. Because that's what they do. Love is in the air. Yeah, won't be long and there'll be eggs in the air. Yeah. 
<laughs> Boy, they tore up this yard more than normal. But I guess I can't complain. It's good for us. Well, it's what the I think it's because we've been trying to add stuff to their yard more so the dirt's a little nicer for them. So they can scratch around. It's not hard as a rock, you know what I mean? Because we're always adding stuff to it to keep it, you know, nice stuff. Especially now summer's coming up. I think they look a little bit like a vulture. So we were talking about Clay's chopping scales. Uh, we were talking about some of the food videos we do. Because I wanted to do more food videos. But I don't like boring everyone with how to chop an onion. I am sure you all know how to do that. I saw videos where they spend 10 minutes showing you how to peel and chop an onion. And that kind of bores me. And when we do a quick recipe, we want to show you the basics, but not, not the things to bore you with it. I'm not saying it's all bad, but if there's something in that you're not sure of, you know, I show you how to saute and things like that. And I usually show you the finished product. And we give you the list of ingredients. If there's something you don't know, by all means, you know, explore it. Well, ask Clay to show you, too. Or ask us. But I don't think you really need me to show you how to chop up cabbage or how to cut an onion or peel a carrot or anything like that. And some of these... Unless you're teaching techniques. Some of these uh, videos just go on and on. And I want to give you the, the short and sweet version so that you can make these recipes quick and easy and that's what I like as a quick and easy meal that tastes like you've worked hours to prepare it and not do a 30-40 minute video for a 10 minute recipe well Clay's concern is he wants to make sure that that you know that they're easy to do not you know, real complicated you know the basics well the food I don't have to show you how to do mediocre tasks well, he wants to show you that the recipes that he's sharing with you are just easy things for families. Not anything real complicated you can't do yourself. Well, we were talking about that because of the, the oh, crab ragu you made. Because really, it's just imitation crab meat and well, the wonton. Imitation crab meat is, uh, is a white fish. It's usually a white pollock from uh, Alaska. Um, they freeze it in chunks and a lot of it is shipped to China and Japan but it's some, But the thing is years ago I would never have attempted something like that and those things are but now that it's like Ruthie it's simple you can get the wontons right in the grocery store you're only using imitation crab meat you know how to use an onion or chop an onion it's not real complicated and so you don't want to make up the, you don't want to make the videos look complicated so that people no, I don't want to make it look that so are like me can just cook. I want you to see how it's, actually it's easy e it it's is easy. so you'll do it yourself and, and get a chance to taste the, some of the recipes that, you know, you go to these big restaurants and if you ordered, you know, lobster bisque, I mean, just the sound of it sounds like it's going to be really complicated to make and things like that in the crab rangoon and and uh, rangoon I should pronounce it correctly or the cheese wontons you pay 
you know a good price for these and when you find out how really easy these things are to make and you could do it yourself and actually you can put the ingredients that you like into them and not wonder what is in there that you might be allergic to or have a a reaction skin reaction to or anything like that you know what's going in it and it's safe for you and your family and quick and easy to make and so these things aren't complicated because we used to be able to make all the recipes so that we if show you see one of my videos and I kind of jump right from one thing to another I'm just omitting all the simple mediocre tasks of like chopping an onion usually I'll have that all chopped up in a bowl and you know how to do all that I don't have to treat you like your kindergarten, it's your friends. Friends and family. If you got a question, go ahead and ask. That's all I have to say on that. Well, sometimes you'll, too, you'll do some instructional. Oh, yeah, but it's, Cause you, it's cause, only in case... Because you know, she went to cooking school and all that stuff. So. But we had some replies that people didn't realize how really quick and easy they were to make. Well, well yeah, well, I know for me, I didn't do a whole lot of cooking before we got together and save yourself some money oh yeah and it's nice to, to make special things when people come over too you know or just for your own family i think we should go check on this animals inside for a second yeah he's so tired i just exhausted my stomach hurts and i'm not feeling too well uh oh, hope you didn't get that little bug I got last week. Come on in there, darling. Yeah, I was actually a little bit down for like a week. So nobody's in here. <coughs> Come on in here, honey. You can do an egg recon. An egg recon? Whatever that is. What's recon mean? Search. Oh, egg search. It can be chicken spies. You ladies dressed? We're coming in. I used to live at Bible school when I was a kid. And they used to always have the, the guys used to yell, man on the floor, whenever they'd go up into the women's dormitory. And of course there were bats all over there, so the guys used to think it was pretty funny and once in a while somebody would let a bat pop loose in the girls' dorm and you'd hear a bunch of girls screaming, ah! <coughs> You have broken eggs? Yeah. Uh-oh. We think that we've got a chicken that's deciding to get her own eggs now. That's not a good thing. Well, anyway, when I lived at the Bible school, I was a kid. My parents were on staff. So... So I was like 12 when we moved from there. Hello, hello. My parents taught printing. They brought the printing business there to oh, help the school so they could have their own printing printing department. So what do you think, guys? So now we got an egg. I don't think we've had one of these since I've been here. I've heard of it. So what's going on? One of the chickens likes to taste the eggs? I'm not sure. You think she's smashing her own eggs? I'm not sure. So what do you do to fix that deal? Well, if it is happening. You gotta find out who's doing it first. Uh-huh. Any other eggs in here? Hi little chickies, you're hungry, aren't you? Let me give that a spin. You got a bunch of them in the middle. And... You might want to explain about that whole smashing eggs chicken. Yeah, if you got that happening then You've got problems. All right, girls, get out of this Disneyland. <laughs> Come on, let me get it. Okay, so, honey, explain the, the egg thing. What thing? The thing about what chickens do, how they might eat their own eggs. If they eat their own eggs, you need to get rid of that chicken. Oh, is that what you do? You get rid of her. Okay. See how the old time farmers do? They find out who did it and get rid of her. <laughs> you catch one of them eating it and you grab it and wring its neck right there and it's Sunday dinner. You don't deal with that. 
Definitely don't need that. What if you have to deal with it? What do you do? If you don't want an eater. Well, but if you had that, some people said put mustard on the egg. No, I'm not even going to deal with it. You, you get one eating them, and then another one sees it doing it, and then you're going to have a wall doing it. You get rid of the culprit right off the start. May not even be the one of the hens. It might be one of the roosters. Uh oh. Here we go. Take these eggs and I'll give these quail some more. Yeah, I guess I should do that. The guilty party. So all we need is a egg sucking chicken. I don't know what they call them. Some of you guys that have had chickens maybe that started that bad practice please feel free to comment clay said he's going to find out who it is and head him on out of here probably they'll find a local farmer that we know that just wants a chicken somebody will just want a chicken to have a chicken but we may end up eating it. You never know. There's a little outside bird thinking about hanging around. Hey there, birdie. Anybody know what kind of bird that is? I think it's a sparrow. I have to look it up. I don't know. Chickadee? Could be a guinea hen. You don't know. Could a guinea? Anybody. So does that become dinner? Whoever's doing it. <laughs> Your sentence is lunch. <laughs> Maybe just the hen stepped on it, put her toe through it. Yeah, it could just be a fluke. But that's the second one, remember? In two days. Well, they didn't do it yesterday. It was the day before. Oh, it was the day before? Don't make me none too happy. It doesn't make me happy either. Getting rid of the chickens. Oh boy. More fun. More work. Chicken drama. No, you gotta watch the birds. Well, you'll be home in the next couple days, so that'll help. Let's see who the egg smasher is. Well, they might have laid the egg and it banged into the other one and. Well, we'll know in a few days if we still have Usually it going on. The eggs, there's not much left of the inside of the egg. They get it all. Oh, and so there was still yolk in there. In there. Okay, so it's probably. It was probably a step on or something, or it banged into one egg to the other. I think I'm going to use those rabbit nest boxes and hang them on the wall for the chickens to lay eggs in. Well, that's a good idea. At least you utilize them. Yeah, we were hoping to girl, go to Derek Stone's rabbitry, too. I don't even think of the he rabbits. Will. He's working on his farm. He's just doing spring cleanup, too. Yep, so after that. So, be a little bit of a field trip. Well, I guess I'll end the video. So that's tonight's chore drama. We're sitting here tonight at the... Sitting here on at, our at chairs. At the backyard farm. <laughs> at the backyard farm, just enjoying our evening and watching the birds Friday night. So like, subscribe, please share this video with a friend, and we will see you in our next video.